welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY 3D Tech.com. We're still up here on Lake Huron in this northern section of the ice pack on Lake Huron. Uh, this cold, wintry February day in Siberia. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to kind of take it, uh, cruise out there and, and explore up lake a little bit. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch this guy. I've already checked hover. I already did my maintenance and weather check. The home pad has been updated. Please check it on the map. And uh, I'm going to start video recording here. And I got everything set up. Take it up a little bit more. Uh, I want to set uh, set my um, point. And I'm just going to take it out. Not too far out this way. But uh, enough to where I'm going to turn it and head north. And so we're going to take it to the north a bit and see what we can see. I am going to take it up a little bit because there could be some pretty tall uh, ice packs out there. So I'm going to take it up at least 20 some feet. kind of take it out there. We're going to just go exploring. And so we just kind of got clear line of sight out there forever today. And as you can see, there's not a lot out there except ice. I want to see, I can see, and I think I'm coming up on it a little bit here, some ridges out there. I want to see if I can see what that looks like. But, uh, hey Donnie, do you see this kind of ice out in California anytime? I tell ya, whoo. It's like Siberia out here today. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder why I do this sometimes. I don't know. But, uh, it's amazing just to, to see out there because, you know, you obviously can't walk out there. It is, it is highly unsafe. And to be able to fly out there and see what it looks like and, and get these images, I think is just amazing. Because that's, that's what I really like about, about this. So I'm reaching out there about as far as I can see, about 3,000 feet or so. Um, so I'm going to loop it back around and bring it back down lake and just bring it back down and we're just bringing it back down see what we can see so we're only up about 30 feet or so 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 not a lot of uh, not a lot of height I just want to be able to kind of get some close perspective Actually, I'm going to see if I can pull the gimbal down a little bit. I want to kind of keep the horizon out there. Getting a little bit of high wind warning. But I want to stay above the ice peaks, but yet get some cool video. Tundra video. They could use this for a Siberian movie. You can make a Siberian movie with this, I think. To Tugunska Blast or something. Hey, we just had a big meteorite here in Detroit not too long ago, so uh, I guess we could do something like that. So I'm counting down. Look, look, look at this ice ridge. I'm going to head out over this ice ridge um, and see if I can't kind of walk down this ice ridge. Notice I'm up 30 feet and how close that is. Look at that. That is just amazing. I hope this is in focus. It appears to be. But... Um, just amazing how the, these plates are pushing up against one another. And it's straight out there in front of me. And uh, again, this is really, really cool stuff. So as we're coming down the ice. And, um, you know, that's what I love about the, the Mavic. I got to say over the Spark and, um, you know, quite a few other ones is the battery life on this thing. And this is where I'm a little bit hesitant again about the air so uh, you know the air has a as uh, as I understand it is really just a spark senior when it comes to battery and uh, you know uh, 
taking this out there and getting down to about 50% battery, I'm pretty comfortable with. Um, and then, you know, being able to come back uh, because it, the uh, temperature definitely does affect the battery. But, you know, I'm surprised at how little actually it affects the battery as to how much, is I, how much I thought it would, uh, which I guess is a good thing. So, uh, but, you know, I think this is where the the Mavic sort of excels in this because the uh, battery to performance ratio is just ast astounding. And so, uh, again, I'm bringing it down and just looking at these, uh, this ice sheet is just really amazing. So, unfortunately, the sun's kind of gone behind some light clouds. So it's not as sunny as it was when I headed out the door to come up here. So I've gone north um, because in the prior videos I flew south of here uh, about five, six, seven miles or so. And I wanted to come up here. I was thinking that might even catch a little bit of open water possibly up here, but uh, um, not really. And so um, we'll follow this back this way. And just kind of crisscrossing things. So we'll follow this back. And it's just really neat, really neat footage. And just kind of take advantage because in the summertime, these beaches are all packed with people and you really can't fly here, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, you know, wintertime is the best time. And, you know, getting some of these, uh, you know, images, as I was mentioning is you really can't get out there and see because it's just unsafe but to be able to fly out there and kind of get a bird's eye view of what things look like is just amazing so uh, because uh, yeah that's just really really neat so I appear to be ticking up so I'm moving away I need to turn myself around so I'm coming back towards me I think that's the right direction so I'm at about 79 what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it up let's uh, let's get a little altitude on this guy I want to quit this, uh, not bring it back but I'm gonna take it up there and let's see if we can see how far this ice pack actually goes. And I'm going to take it up to right around 400 feet. So I'm going to... Okay, so I'm at high 300s. And we can look out as far as this thing can see. And there I don't see any open water as far as this thing can see. So let's, uh, let's gimbal it up. I don't know, maybe way out there. I'll have to look on the computer. But uh, I'm up almost 400 feet, and I don't see any open water um, out there at all. So this sheet just goes for miles, and wow, pretty impressive. So I'm going to, I'm getting down to about 74. I'm going to bring it down a little bit now that I don't want to come in at 400 feet. So, but uh, I just wanted to kind of get a view of what did it look like up there. And that's what it looked like. And it's ice for a long, long ways. Again, hoping, what's, what's expecting maybe to see some open water out there? But uh, not the case. Okay, I'm back down to around 100 or so. And we can kind of look down lake here this way. And... Uh, you fly out this way a little bit. And kind of turn around and kind of bring it back towards us. I think I'm gonna bring it back towards us. I'm getting pretty pretty cold and I achieved pretty much what I wanted to do is see how far I could see and I've seen how far I could see and that's a long ways. So uh, just counting down the feet. So I'm about uh, 1,700 feet out, so not too far out. Coming in about 120 feet high. Um, 
I'm actually going to hit uh, return to home so I can get my hand a little bit warm. And we got return to home. Go home. So it's coming home on its own. And uh, probably picking up a little bit of wind. I got to get to the other side here. Uh, standing on the north side of the shelter kind of so I can keep line of sight of it. And uh, it's uh, coming back. It's pretty close. She's moving 20 some miles an hour. And. Oh, Jesus, my hand cold. So, coming in from the north. Oh, no, actually, this house, sorry. And she's coming down. Landing. We're landing. Again, this is, I gotta say, one impressive bird. Stop landing. I'm going to land it myself. And a little bit of wind gust there. Landing. Oh, well, missed the landing pad, hit the snow because I got my glasses on, but everything is good. We got that saved out. So, uh, oh, there's a big snow drift here. Anyways, another great flight of the Mavic over Lake Huron, Northern Ice Pack, Siberian flying at its best. Hey, let me know what you had warm for dinner, lunch, and uh, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you love this ice flying stuff. So, cheers.